Hi everyone! Today we're going to talk about how to complete the square of a quadratic function. To complete this problem, we'll set the function equal to our formula, expand the formula and collect terms, and then equate coefficients on both sides to solve for our variables. Let's take a look. In this particular problem, we've been asked to complete the square of y equals 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. The equation we're going to need to complete the square is y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. When you're asked to complete the square of an equation and you have an equation like this on the right hand side, a quadratic function, and it's set equal to a constant, you can just take the coefficient on the first degree term, so in this case negative 2, the coefficient on this x to the first term, you can take that, divide it by 2, square your result, and then add that to both sides. But, as in our equation, when you don't have this quadratic function set equal to a constant, and instead it's y equals in a quadratic function, or f of x equals in a quadratic function, you need to use this formula here to complete the square. And the way that we'll do that is equate the two equations, our quadratic function and the formula here, We'll expand the right-hand side, and then we'll solve for h and k by equating coefficients. So we'll set 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 equal to a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. a, the first variable here on the right-hand side, will always be equal to the coefficient on the x squared term here. In our problem, that's just 3. So we can go ahead and plug that in for the right-hand side and say that a is equal to 3. So we get 3 times x minus h squared plus k. Our next step is to expand the quantity x minus h squared. When we do that, we'll get x squared minus 2xh plus h squared plus k. Then we want to distribute the 3 across this quantity here. So we'll get 3x squared minus 6xh plus 3h squared plus k. And finally, we want to equate coefficients on both sides. So we have an x squared term on the left and an x squared term on the right and the coefficient on each one is a 3, that's already done for us. And just the fact that we put this 3 out in front here for a, that means that that'll always be the case. However, the coefficient on the x variable on the left-hand side is negative 2. The coefficient on x to the first is negative 2. On the right-hand side, that's going to be made up of negative 6 and h here because we can rewrite this to be 3x squared minus 6h, right, 6h times x plus, and then we can group 3h squared and k together, they both represent constants, so 3h squared plus k. Now what we can do, we still have a here, and we don't need to do anything with that, but the negative 2 we know must be equal to the negative 6h over here. Similarly, the positive 1 over here on the left-hand side will be equal to the positive 3h squared plus k. So we can set up those that set of simultaneous equations and solve for h and k. So what we'll get is negative 2 is equal to negative 6h, and when we solve this, we see that h is equal to 1 -third. Then we can set 1 from the left-hand side equal to 3h squared plus k. Plugging in the value we got for h, we'll get 1 equals 3 times 1 ninth when we square 1 third plus k. And when we simplify, we'll get 1 equal to 1 third plus k. Subtracting 1 third from both, from both sides, we'll see that we get k is equal to two-thirds. Now we have a value for h and k, and we can go ahead and plug them into this format here. So we can say y is equal to, we already know that a is equal to 3, so we can go ahead and plug in 3. We have x minus our value for h, which we saw was 1 third, so we get minus 1 third squared plus the value we got for k, which we know to be 2 thirds, so plus 
two thirds. And that's it. This is the new form of our equation now that we've completed the square. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.